Hi, I'm Michael Cawley. Today we're traveling with my family to our favorite bakery, Triple Crown Bakery in Franklin, Tennessee, where we have a spiritual practice of going and being still as a family one day a week. Today I'm going to have a cup of coffee that I don't make, which is made by a percolator, which makes great coffee. The only day a week that I actually drink light roast. I'm Michael Colley, and I help you bring more of who you are to what you do. Bringing who you are to what you do is really exhausting work. It's really important to rest. Last week we talked a little bit about the spirituality of being and doing. And so today I want to just give you a little bit of a tip that I've used over the last few years, which is implementing a day of rest into our family's calendar. And what that means is that we take a whole day to be together as a family one day a week, where we do nothing but spend time together, uh, go to our favorite park, and it also means going to our favorite bakery. Bringing who you are to what you do requires rest. One day a week, our family gets up in the morning, I don't make coffee, and we head to Triple Crown Bakery in downtown Franklin, Tennessee, where we live, where I get a great cup of all-purpose coffee roasted by Mealtown Coffee Roasters, and we get a great bake from the blackberry muffins and cinnamon rolls and poplovas and chicken pot pies. All things that our family loves to share together. One of the other things we get to share together when we choose to take this time and rest and have someone else make coffee, which is made by a percolator, which is really, really good. The, tra the traffic is... All right. One of the things that's important for us too as part of visiting the bakery is we get to build relationships with Elena, who owns the bakery, and all of the people that work there. And we get to talk with them and catch up and chat about TV shows that we watch together. Ashley and I have always wanted to be a part of a community in a way that we have a local restaurant that we go to and they know what we want. I always wanted to walk into a restaurant and have the person behind the counter ask me, do you want the usual? And now that happens. Now, I did change my usual recently, but I went back to it today for the video, which is the blackberry muffin, which is so good. But if they have a caramel cinnamon roll, that's usually what I hit up this time. <laughs> what practices do you have for bringing restoration into your life? For us, it means going to a bakery one day a week, sitting down together, where I don't brew coffee for myself, someone else brews it for me with a cool percolator, and they do a great job of it. I wanna give a shout out to Mule Town Coffee today because that's the coffee that I get to drink one day a week when I go to Triple Crown. It's a great coffee roaster in Columbia, Tennessee, just south of Franklin where Triple Crown is and where our family lives. Rest is key to discovering your being, to recognizing that you are more than simply taking action to produce content 
or provide resources to others or um, even figure out a way to make a living and get your bills paid. In order to bring who you are to what you do, you must incorporate some type of rhythm into your life. A rhythm that is restorative, a rhythm that gives you the space to discover even more about who you are. For us, our rhythm takes place one day a week. When we go to Triple Crown and spend breakfast together as a family, drinking coffee, you can see that Ashley and I make very different coffee once we have it in our cup, but it's still exactly how we want it. And we've taken time that day to make our coffee time together extra special. From there, we spend the rest of the day as a family uh, in the woods or at the house, reading books, playing games, spending time with friends. For us, that one day a week is the week, day of the week that we look forward to the most because it helps us discover more of who we are as individuals and who we are as a family. How could you incorporate some type of spiritual practice into your life? some type of restorative practice that helps you discover more of who you are. My challenge to you this week is to figure out some practice to help you take time to be still, to discover and listen about who you are in a way that you didn't know before. I'm Michael Cauley and I help you bring more of who you are to what you do. If you like this video, please click the like button, subscribe, and comment below. Drinking coffee, eating lump, yummy, delicious muffin. Lump, yummy, lump, yummy. I, uh, it's like all choppy in my head today, too.